Hey, Crazy Blue here today. Today we're going to be talking about fixing a 2015 MacBook Air trackpad. I'm going to show you how to take it apart and fix it. So stay tuned, guys. from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna be talking about the 2015 MacBook Air. We're gonna replace the trackpad today, guys. If you've been watching my past videos, my last two videos in the last two weeks have been about repairing the screen. Just to recap, anybody that is just watching this, so I got this computer for free, it's a MacBook Air, and I wanted to use it for a setup, which I'm actually using right now, guys as you can see. So it's a full functioning working computer. Excuse the bed in the background, my cousin's coming down to visit. So while I was fixing this computer, unfortunately a big problem arise where I accidentally got wick, and this is why you should kind of keep the components separated, a piece of wick in between the trackpad. And apparently it made a bad connection and it gave me a big, big problem. It turned the trackpad into almost like an oven. So here's the trackpad right here, you guys can see it. It was this chip right here, it was overheating and turning this basically into an oven. It had had to replace it's right above the battery at first I didn't think that's what it was so I went for the ribbon cable first thinking that maybe this was the issue because it had bad edges as you can see so I was hoping that would be it because this was eight dollars and that trackpad can be anywhere from $15 to $45 depending on where you got it luckily I ordered mine off of eBay used and I got it for 12 and change and I'll put the eBay seller down below he may run out of them he may not but I just figured I would share that with you. He was really cool. He added the screws that you need to replace the trackpad, which if you see the video, you'll see I screwed up quite a few screws and you're probably gonna do the same because it's hard to get them out. It's like the machine pushed in there. Now, just to give you a quick overview, if you're having keyboard issues, it may be the trackpad as well because the way this works, it goes from the logic board to the trackpad, then to the keyboard. So you might wanna keep it in mind that if the trackpad's not working, then the keyboard's probably not going to be working or vice versa there could be something going wrong with the trackpad if you're having keyboard issues that might be the case so without further ado guys let's go take a look at the tear down and replacement of this part all right so this is your macbook air we're going to flip it over and you're going to take out the screws here 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 and here so you're going to take the screws out i put them in a little plastic baggie so i don't lose them I'll take this off right here you want to disconnect the battery like so. You want to take the battery out, so you're going to have to remove a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, and then there's one in the middle, and then you should be able to pull it right out like so. All right, and the first thing we're going to take away is the data cable. We're going to flip this piece up right here, like so. You see how I flip that? See if I could try and show you that. Flips up and down. And we're going to pull the data cable out, and I did replace the data cable. Sometimes it's just this cable, the little ribbon cable, and that's what feeds all the connections. So, and this one, you could see, it got a little rough, so I was like, all right, let me try and see if it needs to be replaced. And that's like eight bucks, so it's cheaper than getting another mouse pad. And this one, this is the keyboard. We're going to lift this up, that up like so, and then underneath it, and it's kind of hard to show you with this angle, but you you got to flip it up. So right underneath here, you have to get under there and then you got to flip this piece right here. You can go down. It's really hard to flip. You flip it up and then you're able to pull that out. Okay, regular screwdriver. You ain't going to fight me. All right, we get the first one out. So that's a regular screw. I'm going to take that one out. I don't think some of these screws, they gave me extra screws with this. I don't think some of the screws I'm going to keep. I'll use the new ones because some of these are just jacked in there. But I'm definitely going to use the new screws they gave me. That one's all jacked up now. Put that off to the side and let's try this one again. All right, so I just wanted to share this with you because I got into this scenario and I thought it would be a good thing to show you. One of the screws stripped out. So I took my trusty soldering iron and soldered a big ball of solder on the end of that and then I took these right here some pliers and I'm able to grab it and twist it off so that's all I did and that worked out pretty well it got it off so that's no longer good we're gonna get rid of that I think I'm gonna replace all the screws luckily the person that sold me the new trackpad included screws so I'm gonna use them 
pull this out. Alright, so now we should be able to get this out, now that I've made a mess of things. Pull this out from here and then slip it right out like that. And that's the old head that wasn't working anymore. It doesn't look like it had any water damage or anything. And I think what it was, I must have gotten some shards of metal on it. And I think that's what did it. But we're going to throw that off to the side. We're going to slip this right in like so. Green. Okay, so let's back in. Right there. Alright, and I'm not going to reuse any of those screws because I don't, I don't like the way they came out. You want to make sure they're even there. I'm just going to put in two screws from now because I'm actually testing this and making sure this is actually the problem on this one. I'll just put two screws on each side for now. And I'm going to connect the keyboard back up. Basically, we got to play a game of try and get the keyboard in. It's kind of being a pain. Let's see if I got this in right. Looks like it. Pretty good to me. We're going to try and slap that down. Push that down. Alright, I got to push down. That looks good to me. Now we're going to do the connection cable to it. Open that up like so. Alright, so I'm going to test it from this point on. I wanted to see if it was the trackpad that was the problem on this MacBook Air. Alright, good news. I don't think I f***ed up the screen. And we have trackpad. Yay! Let's see if we have keyboard. Alright, this is fixed. Yes, yes, yes. Just to show you guys. The trackpad is working. You can see. Let me see if I can make the mouse big. There you go. You guys can see. The keyboard is working. We'll open up notes real quick. Just double check everything. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, everything's working mint. This is good to go. So I'm going to shut this down. All right, so it's going to disconnect the battery. Finish putting the screws in. All right, so the, from this point, I have the trackpad all nicely mounted. Everything's in. That was the data cable problem, but it wasn't. And it was actually the trackpad, so that's newly in there. Place the trackpad on a 2015 MacBook Air. And like I said, the keyboard works with it. Just putting it out there so that way you know that the trackpad's not gonna work, the keyboard's not gonna work. So you're gonna have problems with there. But the power button will work. It is on an independent rail apparently because it's still turned on. It was still able to use that, which confused the crap out of me. So I'm just putting that out there because I was a little confused why things weren't working correctly. I would try and replace the ribbon cable first and then I would go into actually the trackpad and I will leave the eBay that sold me the trackpad down below just so you guys can you know purchase it from him because he was actually really good to me and he didn't know I have a tech show and just kind of paying it forward when somebody actually does something good that's it for me guys I hope this helped you and please make sure to subscribe and like if this helped you in any way and remember you could do anything if you put your mind to it later guys here Is you driving your nuts? Is he? This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. What else to tell you?